Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So last week we mocked up a bunch of surfboards in Illustrator using clipping masks and this week I wanted to do something a little more um, common, I guess, for mock-ups and apparel came to mind. Um, I'm currently working on some apparel designs for a company that's going to be at uh, the Rio Olympics. So I thought I would share a little bit of what my process has been with mocking up designs to send off to manufacturers to get quotes. So this is a pretty common thing for graphic designers and as you can see on my screen right now, this is what we're going to be creating in this tutorial and I will show you how to make the hand-drawn vector t-shirt mock-up and then apply graphics onto it and mask them in. So this will be pretty quick. Uh, we're using a lot of the same skills that we went over in the last tutorial. So if you haven't checked that out yet, be sure to head over there and uh, watch that tutorial as well. Okay, so I'm just showing right here. Um, we're gonna start out with a simple one. So we've kind of got just a logo on the front, pretty standard, and then on the back, we've got another kind of part of that logo, and then we've got a full bleed off the bottom of the shirt. And the second one, it's a little more all over print. As you can see me hovering over, this is an extended uh, design that goes a little further than the clothing, but we're masking it within the clothing and we're utilizing a compound path, which makes it possible for us to continue on the sleeves, which are two different shapes right now from the main uh, panel of the shirt. So uh, we're just going to do this really quick. Um, so what I did was first I found an image just Googling. So all I did was Google t-shirt and this was one of the t-shirts that I pulled. Um, so very, very easy. The first thing I do is I take this t-shirt and I put it on its own layer so then I can draw on top of it and it won't move around while I'm drawing on top of it. So I'm just going to select this image, create a new layer, call it um, t-shirt source and then I'm going to drag it underneath my main artwork layer and then I'm just going to as you can see, it's right now, wherever this little red rectangle is or whatever color your layer is, right now I've got two red layers, um, so that's why it's red. Uh, all you have to do is, while it's selected, if you click and drag this little square, you'll move it to a new layer. So now it's on this layer. So if I lock it, I can turn it on, turn it off, and you can see it's definitely on this layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna zoom in here and I'm just gonna outline, I'm using my Wacom tablet and a uh, couple things to mention really quick. Um, so my Wacom tablet, I'll leave a link. Uh, I've got a whole roundup on my blog. If you've ever been curious about Wacom tablets, if you've ever wanted to um, maybe purchase your own, I've got a whole list of affordable Wacom tablets. Uh, so, And it also lists the one that I use, so you can see which one I'm using. And I also want to mention that I'm giving away two free uh, t-shirt mock-ups this week over on my blog and I'll leave a link in the video description so make sure you check that out and you can go pick up a couple and you can play around with those as well. They're part of a much larger set um, which I will also leave a link to if you're interested in getting them all so you don't have to make them yourself if you need them. Okay so now we've got our source image locked and now we're just going to draw over it and I always make sure I kind of grab a color that's going to stand out so this is a black shirt so I'm just going to grab like a hot pink uh, just so while I'm drawing, I can see it. And I've got my Wacom tablet, so you can see I'm moving around. And I'm going to hit the B key on my keyboard to activate my brush. And as you can see up here, um, it defaults to a five, pound, five point round brush. All I have to do is double click on this. And I already size it down to one point just because um, the five point brush was a little too large for me. So I brought it down to one point, and that's all I need. So I'm just going to zoom in here. And I can begin, uh, make sure you're on not the lock layer, your artwork layer. And I'm just gonna begin drawing and I'm drawing out his collar first. And this is pretty rough, it's just a hand-drawn mock-up. Um, so don't worry about being too perfect, but if I wanted to get a little closer to the collar on this, all I have to do is make sure it's selected. Then I hit N on my keyboard to activate my pencil tool and I can just redraw. When you go to redraw anything, um, just make sure you begin on the same path. So um, like if I started up here, it's not gonna continue on the same path. So I just need to make sure I start on the path and kind of finish on the path as well. So what I typically do, I hit B on my keyboard to go back to my brush tool and 
I'm just gonna scroll down and now I need to use my pencil tool because as soon as you lift up on your brush, you're starting a new line and I wanna continue the line I already had, so I'm gonna select it. I hit V on my keyboard to activate my selection tool and then I just clicked on this path. Then I hit N on my keyboard to grab my pencil tool and then I continue to draw down here and I can continue going all the way. Okay, and then um, hitting V to just deselect everything, hit B again to activate my brush tool, and then I can kind of come in here and draw everything out. So I will continue that along the whole shirt, and once I have the whole shirt, just to save a little bit of time, here's what my outcome looks like, and once I have my outcome, I'll zoom in here, and I'll, like if I don't like how jaggy this edge is right here, I'll come in close, I'll hit A on my keyboard and grab my direct select tool and I can grab points just by clicking and then I can drag them down. Here I've got two anchors and I really only need one. And then I can adjust my handles too, which handles always adjust the amount of curve that your line has. So um, when you hover over you'll see like here's my anchor and if, here's my handle. So this is what controls my curve and my anchor decides on where it's placed, where the line is placed, that point on the line. Okay, let me put that back. All right, so once I have all this, now I've got the front of my t-shirt and I need the back of the t-shirt, so I'm just gonna select everything, hold Alt on my keyboard, drag, hold Shift while I drag to keep it straight, and now I'm gonna reflect it because if I want the back of the t-shirt, it's just like turning around. So I'm gonna um, hold Control on my keyboard and then click with my stylus, transform, reflect, and reflect over the vertical axis. And now this is reflected, but I need to get rid of my collar because I don't need that anymore because this is the back of the shirt. So the way I drew my lines previously, um, I've got a little bit of disconnect, but that's okay. I'm just gonna come in here, grab my direct select tool by hitting A on my keyboard, and then I can kind of adjust my handles. And then I just need to draw in um, this top collar. So I'm going to hit B on my keyboard and kind of draw in um, a top collar here. Get rid of that point. Okay, so if I zoom out a little bit, this is very quick, obviously. Um, so you, as you can see, I've got this top kind of rib around uh, around the collar and I've got everything else that I need. So now everything is still a live stroke as you can see over here in my stroke palette. So now this is where I bring in some color. So I'm just gonna drag these up here and as you can see I've got um, this logo over here that I'm working with. So the first thing I need to do is go object, expand appearance, and what this does is it creates shapes out of these lines. So now you can see they've got a fill instead of a stroke. And then I'm gonna come over here to my Pathfinder palette. And if you don't see Pathfinder, you can get to it by going Window, Pathfinder. And I'm just gonna merge all of these shapes together. So I'm gonna hit this Unite icon right here. Now I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard and I'm gonna drag a big rectangle around them. I'm gonna send that to back, so I'm gonna right click, arrange, send to back. And obviously it's the same color, so you can't see that it's in the back, but we're gonna change that. I'm using this color, which is, if you wanna use the same build as me, 200475. And if I come back in here, now I'm gonna rubber band select. I hit V on my keyboard, to activate my selection tool. I'm just gonna rubber band select everything, come back to my Pathfinder, and then hit this little divide icon. After you hit it, you're gonna to have to ungroup whenever you divide or use the Pathfinder palette ever. Um, even though you're dividing, it still merges everything and groups everything together that you divided. So I need to ungroup, so I'm gonna hold Command Shift G if you're on a Mac or Control Shift G if you're on a PC and that'll just ungroup things, and I don't need this extra part, so I'm just gonna click on that, hit delete or backspace, and now my um, red lines, I, I wanna change these to white, so I'm just gonna select those and change them to white. But now you can see I've got separate shapes for all the different panels, so I can do whatever I want in those panels, which is really helpful. And just to kind of add a little more realism to this, I'm gonna select the inside pieces of the shirt, so up around the collar up here and then inside the arms 
and I'm just going to darken this a little bit. I'm just going to increase the black. So now it kind of it gives it a little more depth. And this top collar part, I'm going to make a little darker, but not quite as dark as the inside of the shirt. Okay, so now we've got our base to put all of our artwork on. So we're going to work off of these. And I'm just going to create another copy here. So we can do that all over print as well. We're going to start with a logo shirt. So I'm just going to grab my little mountain design over here. I'm going to drag it onto the shirt and kind of place it where I want it. Make sure it's on top of the shirt and that looks good. So this mock-up is basically finished. And then this other piece, we're going to put this on the back. This is kind of a continuation of the logo. So get it placed where you want it. And then I wanted to have these mountains bleed off the bottom of the shirt. So I'm gonna bring them down here. I held Alt while I dragged that just to make a copy. And I'm just gonna hold a Shift and Alt so I can scale this up, drag it up here. Then I'm gonna send it to the back. So right click, transform, or arrange, I'm sorry, send it back. And now I need to make sure it, this mountain range fills in this shape and this shape, but I want to keep this color behind it. So I need to make a copy of both of these shapes. So I'm going to hit Command C and then release. So that's going to copy it or Control C if you're on a PC. And then I'm going to hit Command F if you're on a Mac or Control F if you're on a PC. And that's going to paste those two shapes in front. The next thing I need to do is make a compound path because these are two separate shapes that I want to act like they're one. So I'm going to hold Command 8 or Control 8 if you're on a PC, and now these are considered one shape instead of two. With both of these selected, now I'm going to hold Shift and click on my mountain range. So that's going to group everything, or that's going to select everything, the mountain range and those shapes that I want to mask it into. Whenever you're masking anything, the thing that you want to mask inside of another shape needs to be, be behind that shape. So I'm going to right click, make clipping mask, and there we go. So that one's done. So now I'm going to grab this little design of mine. Um, in order to make the, you can just ignore this part, I'm just grabbing the image. Okay, so I just made this by doodling in a sketchbook. I scanned it in, and then I cleaned it up in Illustrator with Live Trace, very similar to my how to vectorize typography uh, tutorial, very similar. Okay, so I need two of these, but first I'm going to get this. This looks like a pretty good scale, so I'm going to keep this scale. And I'm going to make another one of these because I need to put this on the back of the shirt. So I just held Alt while I dragged it. Okay, so for this one, very, very similar to what we just did, only this time I've got a bunch of panels that I want to mask it inside of. I want to mask it inside of this part of the sleeve. I want to mask it inside of this panel of the shirt, the main part of the shirt. I don't want to mask it into the collar because I think that's a little overboard, um, but I'll mask it down here in this bottom seam. So I'm going to hold Shift and click on that. So every time you hold shift and select um, an object or an element, uh, it stays selected with everything else. So it just adds on to the selection. Okay, so I'm just going to group these together to make sure because I've got a bunch of pieces right now. So I'm going to hit command G or control G if you're on a PC. So those are grouped. And then I'm going to hit command C to copy or control C and then command F or control F, which is exactly what we did before. So this is pasted in front now, but we still need to create a compound path out of this because we need these to act as one shape instead of three shapes because we need it to continue on. And if we don't make a compound path, this will only mask inside of one of these panels instead of all of these panels. So I'm going to hit Command-8 or Control-8 if you're on a PC. So that makes it a compound path. Then I'm going to hold Shift and select my design and then right click, make clipping mask. And there we go that easy. So we're just going to repeat the same process just as a reminder. Um, obviously this is the back so we need to reflect this image. So transform, reflect, reflect over the vertical axis, hit OK, and then position it kind of where you need it. And that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to select those panels once again, the sleeve, the main panel of the shirt, and then this bottom seam. I'm going to group it, Command-G or Control-G. I'm going to copy it, Command-C or Control-C. And then I'm going to deselect and then hit Command-F or Control-F if you're on a PC to paste it in front. Now I'm going to make my compound path. I'm going to hit Command-8 or Control-8 if you're on a PC. And then I'm going to hold Shift, select my design, right-click, make clipping mask. 
and there we go. So that's how to do a quick hand-drawn vector t-shirt mock-up in Illustrator. Don't forget to head on over to my blog to pick up your two free t-shirts and you can see the whole set there as well. Uh, it's in the video description, so just scroll down and you'll see it. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new tutorial every single Tuesday. So I'll see you next week.